So, how proud are you of your performance? Uh, Matt just said that you applied the, the plan with perfection. You know, his coach, you know, better <laughs> than me. Uh, first of all, I'm receive your update, Kubuka. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, li I live in Quebec uh, 10 years. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm fighting home, like, you know, it's home fight. And uh, I'm re really like to fight here, like Quebec City or Montreal. It's always nice. But here I feel like a uh, couple of fights before I fought uh, in uh, New York. Uh, what uh, Joe Smith. It's, the stadium is like all support for just meet, you know, it's crowd like. And again, I have fight in London with Anthony Yard. It's like all stadium is <laughs> supporting for Anthony Yard. But here opposite, like, you know, the stadium supporting me, it's very nice. It's, I feel that today, like, you know, it's like home fight. Thank you. I mean, this is probably the second toughest fight of your career right there with Bozdick, but that obviously was not the case tonight. That was probably much easier than maybe you expected. Was it easier than you expected? Uh, you know, I, I don't know about another fighters, but I never expecting something. <laughs> I'm always preparing for 12 round if I have 12 round, and uh, uh, like you know. You're expecting six, but there is going seven, you know, it's not good. <laughs> That's why I'm always try to be. But uh, he gave me a good fight, like, you know, it looks like they prepare very well. Does during the fight your mind change a little bit when you maybe realize during the fight that, okay, I think I can get the stoppage in this one? No. No? No. You know, it's if you've been, bo if you've been boxer, you understand me because... For example, me, like during the fight, and I, I, I feel, oh, it's almost finished, you know. It's done. You, feel, you, you lost this time, you know. And on, the, on that time, you lost fight. You're gonna, you're gonna lost because you can't uh, be, uh, take easy during the fight. Only when about I heard about like uh, Costa Zeus says like uh, he's take easy in in ring when. They uh, say you win. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know, stop. Because in this time too, like I'm waiting for referee. What he says, <laughs> Mark in the ring already. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so now we can make it official, right? Undisputed next. I hope. I hope. You said uh, a few weeks ago that your main motivation was to be a good boxer. Did you feel like a good boxer tonight? I feel I'm um, on the road. I'm not there yet, I think so. All right, Can you talk a little bit about the next fight, champ? It's a fight between two Russians. It's going to be taking place in Saudi Arabia. Can you talk about the significance of the fight for, for Russia, for Russian people, and whether or not there's a rivalry there with between you and Bivol, given that such a big fight is taking place between two Russian boxers? You know, it's, it's not our choice, I think so, because <laughs> he has he has belts, I have belts, like, <laughs> we need this fight, and that's it. It's not personal, I think so. It's, it's sport and it's boxing. But surely it's something that the Russian people have been looking forward to and are going to be excited about, right? Yes, I think it's, there is two sides. One side on me, so one side on him, like, you know, but uh, it's, n it's normal, I think, so I don't know. Mark, can you talk about what you can talk about potentially, it's really what he's going to do at 175 years? Well, in fact, it's been a long time we've been talking about it, and we were ready, even if we were a little bit impatient, I would say, in the last few years. But at the same time, je veux laisser les, les, chaque personne faire leur travail. C'est vraiment un travail maintenant de, au niveau de, des promoteurs. Euh, nous, ça fait longtemps qu'on le dit, on est prêt. On est prêt. Ah, euh, juste pour faire un petit pouce là-dessus. On a-t-il une idée de quand ça pourrait se faire? Au niveau de date? Nous voulons voir. Tu sais, là, premièrement, je veux vraiment, parce que ce que les gens, il faut se rappeler, c'est qu'on y a eu une cancellation d'un gala. Là. Ça fait 16 semaines de camp d'entraînement qui se tape. Là. Alors, je veux qu'ils prennent un, quand même un, un bon repos. 
Il y a le ramadan qui s'en vient au mois de mars. Et puis, par la suite, on va, on va regarder ça avec les gens de Top Rank pour voir quand est-ce que ce est, serait une date idéale pour lui. Mais non, pas pour Bivol. Of course, of course. I, I, I like it's like I think it's it's going like this. <laughs> I think it's it's gonna happen because we don't have choice because like we need to do this fight. Riyadh season ends, I believe, March. Um, do you see the fight happening around that time frame, March, April, or do you think that it's gonna be later in the year that you could possibly make the fight with Joe? You know, I don't know dates they didn't offer me yet uh, because I need to speak before. I don't know dates, like exactly what date is. If they give me like to choose, like some dates, and I know. Have you, have you agreed to fight? Uh, Bivol's team have said they've already signed to fight you. Have you signed to fight Bivol? What does it mean, sign? No, you sign a contract. contract. He's, he talk always like this. He's, he, 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 last five years or four years, he tell he tell for everyone like he gonna fight next fight with me. Yeah. Now he says like I have fight like next two weeks, and he says like he already signed with me contract. How can how can he say sign contract with me? <laughs> because I I have another fight. <laughs> it, okay, so so there's no contract. He's a real boxer, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you you still need to negotiate that deal to fight for the undisputed title. Is that correct? But it's like this always when when you have two, yeah, no, two yeah, fighters. Course, but yeah. and and I, I not I know nothing about fight date nothing. Yeah. He already signed. How he did? I don't know. So a long way to go to get this fight made. It's always like this, but what boxers, you know? <laughs> so has an offer been made? He? To, no. no, from the the promoters in Saudi Arabia for this fight. No, I don't know that okay. because I, I I tell you, like, nobody tell me dates, names, like he tell only, but I don't believe him. You're not a good guy, I mean, you know. <laughs> Mais écoute, tout le monde le sait, là, que notre, notre objectif avec lui, c'est de l'amener à championnat du monde quand même le plus rapidement possible. Euh, je pense qu'on a pu voir ce soir qu'il est, qu qu est de un autre niveau, puis qu'il euh, qu est, est fin prêt. Il est arrivé une, une place dans sa carrière, dans sa... Également avec son âge où il est en, en pleine possession de tous ses moyens. Puis là, ça va être une question d'opportunité maintenant. Il y a beaucoup d'actions dans cette catégorie-là. Puis je pense que c'est juste une, une question de temps maintenant. Puis avec le sérieux qui démonte au gym, je n'ai aucune, euh, aucune inquiétude. Champ, are you the least talked about three belt champion in the world? Well, it's a... <laughs> I knew that was going to fuck you up. <laughs> You're maybe the, the boxer with the most belts that we talk about the less. Um, on the outside, you're very quiet. You, you don't get in trouble. There's no, you know, big media in Canada necessarily making you sound as great as you actually are. Um, do you feel like maybe you don't get enough recognition for everything you've done? In boxing gym, you know, someone know me, like, it's enough for me. <laughs> In boxing gym, no, people know me. How much is your life outside the gym um, an impact on you being the champion that you are today? Because you are something that we've never seen, 20-0, 20 KO, with three belts, going to be undisputed. How much is, of your outside life is a part of that? Uh, if, if At home, training, everything. Very ah, it's like you know, if be honest, like my kids don't know what I'm doing, you know. They know something, like. <laughs> but even now, they, they even now, they know don't know what I'm doing, you know, like what I do there, like they know that I'm boxer, like and that's it. Mark, you're you've got your hands on a boxer that's gone 20 and 0 with 20 tail. It's not something every day. It's because of luck. 
<laughs> no, it's not every day, but in the same time, I just, I just uh, take his philosophy about not getting satisfied. We're not satisfied. One day, Arthur told me, I don't believe on those uh, three champions in one category. It's you're champion of the world or you're not champion of the world. And, uh, and we need to close that, that thing. Mark, where does Arthur rate in all the fighters you've trained? No, I think this is speak for them for themselves. But in the same time, I don't I don't want to too much like look at what we did like today and yesterday. It's already past. We, are, we already look for future. I always uh, people ask me what is the best performance of Arthur. I just hope it's in future, not in past. Yes, in future. I hope. Jab and you box moving. Was that the, the plan from the beginning? Or did you guys... Anyways, Mark told me to do that. <laughs> 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 just <laughs> yeah, I, I just follow it. Like, he sometimes tell me good things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it worked against Joe Smith as well. Huh? It worked against Joe Smith as well. Yes. Counter punched him as well. Yes. Like, you know, it's, if be honest, like, um, we prepared for uh, even my coach, my team, if during the fight they tell me nothing, but we prepared eight weeks every day repetition, like something, you know? It's like theater, like you do repetition, repetition, and in fight you do it's automatic, like everything. Yeah, they always keep saying, like, hey, maybe this will be the fight that he gets old, but it never ever happens. But what is the secret? What is secret? Yeah, what is the secret? Your longevity, you never, doesn't matter how, you know, they always say. Who <laughs> took Ah, <laughs> you know, I, if, if be honest, like, I'm like really, I don't know, I'm studied in uh, college in Moscow. There is a very good discipline, you know, I take from them, from their discipline, like they uh, sleep at 10, wake up at 6. It's like there is training, there is use learning, it's studying, like, you know. I take a lot from this college. I think it's from there and after national team, like, I think it's when you sleep well, well good time, when you eat good <laughs> and you train, training. I think it's, it's things helping for you. How will you celebrate now? Am I not drinking? No, I'm drinking, only water. <laughs> How do you celebrate? Celebrate? I don't know, I need to think about it. <laughs> no, I'm drinking only water. There was a question earlier about your recognition. Do you care at all about lists, pound for pound? I'm sure you know Lionel Thompson, Lonnie B. He's told amazing stories about what you're able to do in the gym. He, he actually gave an interview earlier this week where he said it's an insult that you're not considered the best pound for pound fighter in the sport, given the fact that you do what you do in training and that you've knocked out everyone ever put in front of you in, in the ring. What are your thoughts on these lists? Yes, I had to about some prospect, some prospector, do you know your attack? Me going to say it. It's not in my head, like, you know, I'm not dreaming about it. But it's, I appreciate if it's happened one day. If it was up to you, when would you, like, the undisputed fight to happen? Like, this, this year, couple, couple, couple years, couple, uh, couple months, in several months, like, you know, in several months, I mean, <laughs> you see. So, like, towards the summer? Yeah. You, you will you organize? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. I assume you're waiting until after round one. I mean, you will organize it? Oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it was quite a dominant performance from you tonight. What pleased you the most about your performance? Who else? Who was your best? Tan, eh? You know, when it's... I step in a ring and it start boxing, it start fight, like, you know, <laughs> like you rec recognize, you know, like, it's like 
he did very good preparing, you know, for, for you. And you try to, like, um, to find key for him, you know. And like, um, when, when my team tell me, like, to do box, like, you know, not try to punch him, that's, it's, it's going better boxing, you know. I always want to do good box, but I never do good box. Is there a precise moment in that fight that you feel that you had him, you, that you, there, he wasn't taken over? There is, uh, I think, fourth or third round. There is, I punch him, punch him, but he stay, he stay strong, like. And tie again. And yeah, and like, okay, I, I come back later, I think. <laughs> <in my laughs> Right over to you, and in the room's place, corner. Was that you were certain your dominance, your force, your power? You wanted to show him you were the stronger guy. No, I'm, I don't, I'm not strong. I'm normal. <laughs> I don't want to show him anyone. So I just want to do good box. Good box. That's it. After you dropped him the first time, did you know the fight was close to ending then? First, uh, what? First time. I don't know that. <laughs> if you were to assess Bibble as a fighter, how would you assess him? Uh, he's a good fighter, like. Not great? Huh? Is that a great fighter? You know, if he wins. It's not great fighter like uh, great he hold their hold their one belt and he can be great fighter in our division. I'm not great too, but I mean he's yeah. not too. We we we're gonna see we're gonna know uh, who is better fight fighter in in this category. So if you beat him, do you think Where he's is? a good boxer then? We'll see, you know. We'll see. I I I, I need this uh, feeling, you know. I need to like. You know, I, I don't want to retire uh, without this feeling, you know. How long do you see yourself boxing? You, know, you have three years, four years, five years, or you don't have a, a deadline? I don't think about it. I just do. Try to do it. Try to continue. Would a Canelo fight still be of interest to you? When he beat uh, Kowalow or some someone there, 80 or oh, oh, lightweight category, when he have belt in my category, yes, I want to him. But when he don't have, I'm not, I'm not like <laughs> looking for the good names to have fights. You know. Tardy. Bon, alors, euh, est-ce qu'il y a d'autres questions euh, pour Marc? Euh, parce qu'on on doit finir ça bientôt. We should finish this soon. So, we can... Uh, yeah. Any you. other questions? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming for, for doing this job.